see all the behind the scenes. Authorities in Texas have started arresting migrants illegally crossing the border as the state's battle with the Biden administration continues to percolate. The arrest defying a cease and desist letter sent by the administration calling on Texas to allow federal Border Patrol agents back into that area taken over by the state's National Guard. Correspondent Allie Bradley's live for us in Eagle Pass, Texas with more on this border battle, Allie. Yeah, the federal fight here, Nicole, intensifying. Of course, we know DHS, the Biden administration, saying they want full access here to Shelby Park. Texas is saying no way. In fact, they're actually doubling down. Check this out. This is new concertina wire that they just put up, and it is actually topped with the anti-climb barrier up here. So we've seen a lot of individuals come through the river and over these Connex boxes here. This is there now to prevent that. And you can see right over here across the river, there's a lot of activity here in Eagle Pass. Right now, though, on the Mexican side, you can see Mexican officials. And then we also just uh, can also report that Director McCraw with Texas DPS just arrived here at Shelby Park as well. Now, this all comes as we have new video that shows Texas DPS arresting 10 migrants who did cross the Rio Grande illegally this morning and climbed over those Connex boxes that don't yet have that concertina wire there up on uh, top there. Now, two others among those 10 were also arrested just moments ago. Now, Lieutenant Oliveras with Texas DPS is saying that troopers are enforcing criminal trespass on single adult men and women right now if they cross into Texas illegally. The undocumented individuals, they are not being turned over to Border Patrol. Instead, they're being put in jail on those trespassing charges. Now, Texas says the arrest cut off some of those pull factors of people entering the country illegally. This as both sides right now are concerned of a potential confrontation. We're talking about the federal administration and the state level law enforcement. Sources with Border Patrol tell me that their agency actually wants an agent to be down here in the park with a body camera along the river in case a confrontation breaks out so that they can have documented proof of that. So DHS gave Governor Abbott till the end of day on Wednesday to grant them that full access. That didn't happen. DHS threatened to take it to the Department of Justice, but we have yet to see a filing there. Now, the White House and DHS both accused Texas officials of blocking agents from helping three migrants in distress. A tragic situation there where a woman and two children drowned. The Biden administration, however, has admitted that those three migrants died at least an hour before Border Patrol even sought access to the park. Homeland Security Committee Chairman Mark Green says DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, who is who the House is actively trying to impeach right now, as we know, is falling down on securing the border and Texas is within its right to step in. The real issue is, is that Secretary Mayorkas is not uh, living up to his constitutional mandate to protect the borders of the country. And the state of Texas has said under the Constitution that they have a right to do so when the federal government fails. And I, I believe, you know, what Texas is saying is is the right uh, position on that issue. It's over your right shoulder. Okay. Okay, so right now we can see that Border Patrol does have a boat in the water right here at the boat ramp. And I can tell you this, that Border Patrol has never been blocked from putting their boats in the water or retrieving their boats. They have had access to this boat ramp. What DHS wants is they want that full access. They want to be able to process and receive migrants here. Texas is saying that isn't going to happen. And there was a victory for the Abbott uh, administration here this week as well. Uh, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals granted them an extension at the rehearing of the case, Nicole. So for those buoys, you know, those big orange marine barriers, those will be able to stay in place until that case is heard now in May. So a lot going on in Texas. Yeah. When I tell you there's a lot of activity, can we, Dave, I'm going to ask you, I'm sorry, they're telling me to wrap, but I just want to show you here. So we've got Director McCraw over here along with Florida Wildlife Commission and other DPS officials. Okay, Nicole, we'll send it back to you. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find news.
slow week for production, so I got to jump on a bunch of household projects. First up, son and I dismantled, dismantled last night. The axle seals on the front end of the Jeep were leaking. And then we also bought these external seals, but they're kind of crapola. They, they're not a tight fit. So I may have to redo those. But just picked up gear oil. I'm gonna put this thing back together. This morning I was asleep, 7.15, phone rang, the request to come on back down to Shelby Park in Eagle Pass. It's 1100, we've got a live bump shot up and we're waiting for our escort into the park. But top of the hour, I think they're gonna take my shot. So I got them a gate shot up just so they have something to work with. Oops. Yeah, hey, Nicole, we're going to start here in Eagle Pass, where we can tell you that the crossings between the ports of entry have all but dried up there. The river is extremely high there today. They aren't seeing a lot of migrant crossings, but you can see there are riot shields out there. Texas military and Texas DPS are prepared if large groups try to surge across the Rio Grande. Of course, that razor wire is something that they would have to contend with and something that continues to be one of those issues. But when it comes to lawmakers in Texas, they're actually now calling for the Texas Texas National Guard to be federalized. They're calling on the President of the United States to take control of the Texas National Guard. Here is what Representative Castro had to say, saying, quote, Governor Greg Abbott is using the Texas National Guard to obstruct and on strengthening and fortifying the State Guard. Now, when it comes to what's next for Governor Abbott, to the state guard and what's going on down there. Some state lawmakers and candidates for state house, Nicole, are now calling for Governor Abbott to double down on strengthening and fortifying the state guard. Now, when it comes to what's next for Governor Abbott, DHS sent that second letter saying that they want access to Shelby Park, demanding that the state of Texas provide that full access. Now, they have until tomorrow by the end of day, Nicole, to open up that park. The consequences not listed in that letter. So I guess we'll find out what happens if Texas doesn't yeah. concede here. Last day, 0550. People feel bad for you guys. I think you got it pretty good. People are giving you treats every day, all day long. Get some fat on the sides there. Get enough calories. Good pup. Yeah. Good pup. Those are yours. 
Hey, your ears look clean. Yeah. It all stems from razor wire put in place by Texas along the Rio Grande and Eagle Pass. The Supreme Court ruling federal agents can resume cutting that wire, but Texas is now doubling down, adding even more of it. News Nation's Allie Bradley is live. And Allie, there's a significant deadline just hours away. Yeah, you're right here, Nicole. So DHS has the state of Texas once again in a vice grip saying that they want full access to this park in Eagle Pass by the end of the day today. As we take you there live, you can see that Texas is not making any moves here. You can see National Guard troops still blocking those entryways to that public park there. The state seizing that area uh, over a week ago now. Hour 11 on location, just laid down for the first time and took my shoes off first time. Feels so good, I'm gonna have a hard time getting up here, but I've got one last live bump shot to go in the next 45 minutes, and then we're clear for the nights, and I got extended plus two more days out here, so we'll resume again at 0715. Same spot, but uh, we're gonna have a second crew here doing live shots with a correspondent, and I'll just be getting parallel live bumps and I may just do drones exclusively the weather and wind cooperates. Despite all that, News Nation has learned that the Texas military continued putting up razor wire today. You're looking live at the park in Eagle Pass, Texas, and you can see just how fortified that area still is tonight. Former President Donald Trump is backing Texas. And in South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem decided to travel there herself to show support. Our News Nation drone captured this video of her in Shelby Park this afternoon. And North Dakota Governor Doug Burgum said the Biden DHS once again putting Texas in a vice grip, demanding the state give the agency full access to Shelby Park and Eagle Pass by the end of the day today. But as the saying goes, don't mess with Texas. Officials there are not going down without a fight. Every American citizen has to ask, why is Joe Biden allowing 8 million people to come here? The blue cities don't like it. The blue states don't like it. The red states don't like it. Crime is a, a fentanyl is our number one killer. Why would any president do that? Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton tweeting today this image that says, come and take it. And the Lone Star State won't be fighting this border battle alone. That's what those 25 Republican governors need to do. With today's deadline looming, we've learned Texas plans to expand their efforts, implementing a multi-phase plan to deploy razor wire for at least six more miles outside of the two miles already stretched across Shelby Park. That being phase one of the project, according to sources. 
We'll be watching the repercussions from the Biden administration, but one Texas lawyer tells me Abbott is well within his rights to protect his border for the safety and security of his people. Safety, more like a, you know, break the glass in case of emergency. That's what it really is.